When I came here, uh, my parents had signed me up for the school, and I wasn't really too thrilled. But when I got here, I just, I loved it. The environment was amazing, your teachers, your students, and the campus is small enough that you get to know everyone, but it's big enough that you can like make a lot of friends. Hi, I'm Jale Najmi, and I am a 10th grader at High Tech High North County. My name is John Torres. I'm in 10th grade, and I go to High Tech High North County. Every single day we have two periods of humanities and two periods of math and chemistry. Humanities is kind of like a language arts class mixed with a history class. Right now we are reading Frankenstein and the project that goes along with the book is we are taking a scientific figure in history and are putting in him on trial for going too far in science. Like, are there any limits? And so we have a prosecution team, a defense team, and two witnesses, and we create our own trial for that. So I'm really looking forward to that one. In our math chemistry class, we are currently working on building models for molecules. And instead of just doing the regular ball and stick model, we decided to kind of change it up and use interesting materials for that project. I'm doing the molecule capsaicin. Uh, found in jalapenos and spicy foods and such. Instead of using the ball and stick model, I use pictures of jalapenos to represent the different molecules. We're doing a composting project, and another thing about High Tech High is the kids really get to like choose their own projects. So our group, our class, decided this project, and we chose it and planned it, planned it out and everything. And what we're doing is we're building a compost bin to help um, the earth and we're making our own soil and um, one of the things I'm doing is I'm creating a poster, a flyer, and a PSA which are going to present to our class and the community. Depending on which semester you're taking and which grade you are, you either have um, Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 or art or uh, multimedia. Multimedia class is basically learning about all types of all types of media used throughout the world. Some projects we're working on now are creating our own short films. A lot of it is learning about the structure of a movie and what, what makes a, mo a good movie a good movie. And a lot of it is also learning the technical things, which is video editing and shooting, sound, etc. On Mondays, we have an hour of SIG, and that's a student interest group. Your book is a special interest group, another SIG. My main role as of now, is meant like many others just taking pictures. We can take on different jobs in, in that SIG because the more people to do work the better. On Tuesdays we have X Block which is kind of like our PE. My X Block is dance because that's my favorite um, type of exercise. So far we've choreographed three dances and we've performed two of them at community meetings and those are like our assemblies that we do and we perform them for the whole school. My X Block happens to be volleyball taught by Mr. Acker and he teaches us the basics of how to bump, how to how to hit a ball, how not to hit the ball, how to hit a ball. <laughs> Shawnee, the art teacher, uh, teaches yoga for X Block. A lot of people love that one. There's also basketball and we're also getting a team together which is actually going to compete against other schools. The main difference between a traditional school and High Tech High North County for me was the project-based learning. The projects we do are so interactive and we get to work with our hands and like really see the fundamentals and different things that we're studying about. Having a smaller school does have its advantages because um, the, the best thing about it is you get you know everybody. You, there's, there's never a person that you, not, you don't recognize because you, you learn everybody's names, you know what class they're in, and you learn a lot about people in your school because having a smaller school lets you know everybody a lot better. Also having a small staff also, um, it gets you closer to the teacher because they, they know more about you and you know more about them. Having that permanent building will be, uh, I'm actually very excited for it because I've seen the other high tech high schools and if they put as much care and design into our school as theirs then I'm going to be pretty proud of it because it's going to look pretty cool. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.